Hi, my name is Dave Walker, Senior Pastor of Elim Church Romsey, and welcome to Friday Reflection. My title today is, You Are the Essential Link in the Chain. In the New Testament letter to the Romans from Paul, he commends lots of people who have worked together for the gospel. The first seven verses go like this. I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a servant of the church at Kencre, that you may welcome her in the Lord in a way worthy of the saints and help her in whatever she may need from you, for she has been a patron of many and of myself as well. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risked their necks for my life, to whom not only I give thanks, but all the churches of the Gentiles give thanks as well. Greet also the church in their house. Greet my fellow Apennatus, who was the first convert to Christ in Asia. Greet Mary, who has worked hard for you. Greet Andronicus and Junia, my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners. They are well known to the apostles, and they were in Christ before me. What an incredibly encouraging passage of scripture there, where we see everybody doing their part in that particular church. The game of Jenga is an amazing game that you play with wooden blocks where each person in turn takes one of the blocks from the bottom and puts it on the top uh, as safely as they can do to try and build the tower higher while at the same time trying their very best not to let the tower fall down as is what's happened here. I don't know about you, but whenever I've played this game, the fun bit is not playing Jenga, but the real fun bit is building a tower at the end with the bits that are all over the floor. We used to do that in youth group years ago. And this actually almost illustrates a church working together. Remember that example I gave a few moments ago from Romans 16, where Paul talks about everybody playing their part in the church and he thanked them. But you might feel that you're insignificant, that you don't play a very good part. But the part that God calls you to play is very important because if you don't play it, it could affect the whole church some people are tempted sometimes to think well you know look at the church it's not it's not um, going the way I wanted it to but actually you have a part to play and your part in the whole thing is very very important the New Testament church that Paul talked about in Romans um, particularly that passage towards the end where he talks about everybody in Romans 16 working together and where he thanked them for the service they had given him and given the church at large um, it was like a strong tower um, where everybody did their bit to, to build the vision that God had given to them. As I look out of my kitchen window now and look back, I see a street where I know God is telling me to do my part to spread the gospel in this street. I would say to myself and challenge myself the reason that perhaps not more people um, are following Jesus in my community is probably down to me because I feel that God has given me a heart for this community. Um, what is God saying to you? You are not just an insignificant brick in the tower. You are a very important part. What part has he given you to play? Think about that today and God bless you. Thank you.